Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Welcome to this beautiful and timely end of uh, February. Um, so, how are you doing? I don't know where you are in the world, but no matter where you are, I hope you are safe and secure. I know there are so many of us in California, we are enjoying this beautiful sunny weather and uh, it's what, around mid 70s and it's absolutely gorgeous outside. And there are so many who are in Texas and other places within the nation or even the country globally uh, that are with the blaze uh, storm, storm, uh, snow, uh, lack of electricity and water. But no matter where you are, may you be safe. Uh, I was listening. Uh, I've joined a clubhouse. If you don't know anything about what clubhouse is, of course, you have to have an iPhone to be on clubhouse. Um, it is this global networking. Of course, everything is audio, but this global networking that have come together and it, it's beautiful because you get to speak and meet with people around the world. And I mean around the world, connecting to people from all over, from Nigeria, from Europe, from uh, Eastern Europe, from Asia. It, it's like we all come together in this one place and we can speak we can be heard and isn't this our core because as humans we all want to be appreciated and accepted heard and loved so today's message is i hope this arena this platform not only here on Facebook, the way you write and the way you post. If you are listening to me, please take a moment, make a comment, share something, and let me know what it is that you would like me to speak about, um, bring to you, inform you, uh, inspire you with. Today, I want to give you a, a a way of thinking and realizing that you know the work that i do for the last 20 years i've been working as a, a clinical hypnotherapist doing the transformational work with my clients transforming one person from where they are to what they want to feel which is going from pain which is feeling powerless insecure, um, feeling anxious, insecure, and negative thoughts and thinking to gain, which is growth, right? Which is feeling acknowledged and accepted, which is feeling independent, inspired, and nourished and nurtured. Because when a client comes here, it's, it, it's not so much the problems. We all have problems. I swear to God, we all have problems. There is not a person. Actually, ask any influential person, celebrity person, millionaire, and you will find that they have gone through a lot of challenges to be where they are but they have found ways of resolving things much faster. So they are more solution-based versus excuse-based. And that's how they got to where they want. They found the solutions. This is my why, this is what I need to do, and I go to resolve, I take the action. Versus finding the excuse, staying in our comfort zone, and remaining to where we are because no matter what we do right 
If you think you are, uh, if you think you can't, you are correct. And if you think you can, you are correct. So choose which one it is. Comfort zone, we find the blames and the excuses. Taking action, we get into action, finding resolutions and solutions. So today is to know the work that you do. When a client comes to me, when you come to me and you say, this is what I need change. That's great. But what is it that you want to become? That's why we need to know that. I need to know what is it that you want, what you desire, what you choose for yourself, and what is your why to be where you are. Just like this morning, I was asking um, someone right here, and I asked her and I said, she said, I dropped a lot of the weight and I no longer eat the way I eat. Like I'm not doing this tacos and all the fatty food and everything. And I said, why? She said, but I, because I no longer want to feel uh, that way, that pain in my pancreas, the pain that I felt that put me in the hospital for three days. Ah, so the why is I no longer want to feel that pain because I want to feel better. I want to feel more lighter. I want to feel healthier. I want to feel proud of myself for the weight that I have dropped. You see, our why, the positive, is so much stronger. We move towards our most dominant thought pattern. And if your pattern of thinking spirals downwards, then you go lower. But if you start doing your whys and the, where you want to go to, your why is more positive, powerful, brings you joy, puts a smile on your face, and as always I call it self-pride. Remember this, self-pride trumps everything. Just like success. When you want to buy something, you buy it. The contract is signed. You go, <coughs> I did it. Yes. That yes. I did it. I can. I closed the deal. I jumped the hoop. I broke my own record. I was successful. I got the hug. I made this happen. I got my A. Whatever it is, it's called self-pride because you stood up for yourself and you did it. Now, a lot of factors can be in place to support you, guide you, and, you know, bring that to fruition. But again, it is you that does the work. So today, I have two ways of suggestion. Here's a suggestion. Take a time, take a moment, take 10 minutes, maybe half an hour. Grab a piece of paper. Sit there and go into this moment of quietness, just pure essence of quiet. Breathe in and out. One more time, take four deep breaths. Hold one, two, three, four, and exhale four times. One more time, nice deep breath, four times. And exhale. Now do this four times, four counts in, four counts hold, four counts exhale. And with each and every count, 
bring something positive or think of something positive or think of something joyful and you hold it as a pause let it sink and you exhale all things negative blame guilt resentment negativity so we bring in positive joy life smile things that make you feel good oxygen vitality right gratefulness and then you pause allow it to sink and you exhale four counts of all things that you may be upset about angry resentful or even the name of the person connected to that feeling release now once you do that and you finish that guess what i want you to take this page and start writing so what is it that you're writing you draw a line and one side is going to have a title compliments and this side is going to be contradictions or things that are toxic right contaminate compliments contaminates so everything that you think you feel surrounds you or you have surrounded yourself and do this with absolutely no judgment no analyzing no criticizing just sit and think what is complementary in my life what is contaminating in my life what you believe is a contamination to your psyche to your energy to your being and it could be like blocks limitations that you believe and just name them just write it complimentary contaminating this one compliments that one so but the way i like at, to ask you to do it is you write one column until the moment you can't think of anything and then you write the other side until you think you are done and you just put it aside no reading no analyzing no judging and i want you to do this three days in a row until you feel you have depleted yourself from all things that are complementary or contaminated and then on the third day i want you to look just go back three pages and see where the balance was on the second day and on the third day how much and how full how long each column is and then if you want to you can continue it for seven days but three days is good enough the journaling of gratefulness is an everyday thing from the moment we wake up being grateful to all that we have but this exercise is so powerful it brings you to a sense of knowing about yourself and what you believe because sometimes your belief system is what you have learned what you have accepted by others and made it your own and may not be your own truth but when you start writing it down of what is complementary and what is contaminating your core self your intuition your true essence of all that you think and you feel comes on paper i hope you can do this exercise and realize this is can this can be truly beneficial 
So for the last 20 years, I've been doing this, this work. Hi, Adrian. I love you. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Um, seems like today is quite busy. Everyone is busy doing something, you know, doing this kind of an exercise puts us in reality and we can stop being busy being busy you know this morning i did a post as i was walking my dog i always have my uh, phone with me nowadays i call it my camera but it's truly my phone but when i am on that walk i am in pure silence I am one with nature. I am one with consciousness. I am one with God, the path, the flowers, the trees, the birds, everything. But you know what? I am one with me, with my thoughts, ideas, concepts. And that quietness, other than some people passing by where we say hello and the dogs greet each other, even they greet each other and they say hello and then we pass so you realize that even on a pathway that we walk is the same pathway that we have in life we pass by one another and we stop we greet they sniff they play, and then it's time to move on. I think relationships are the same. And it doesn't matter if it is work or if it is relationship at home. We are all on that same path at different times. And we come to be together, walk together, or greet and pass by so take this time take time for you to ground yourself no matter where you are at home on a pathway in your backyard in front of the door even sitting in the car parked somewhere that you have a nice scenery just turn the radio off, phone off, and start writing. Hi, Mark. How are you, dear? Thank you for being here. So when you write, this is time for you to be grateful to who you are, your dreams, your aspirations, and know that no matter where you are, take ownership. You know, we, we always say, it's not what happens to us, but what we do with it from this day forward. So we can become compliant and remain in our comfort zone or we can take action and move towards our desired place. And it can be in body image, self-esteem, success, love relationships, or anything that you want to manifest in your life. And if I can be of help to help you go from your pain, if you feel powerless, if you feel that you are in a place of anxious anxiety, having this panic and anxiety, if you feel insecure and you're not recognizing how you can come out of this hole, you know, maybe that's where you were. Maybe that's not where you are now. You just need a boost. By all means, I'm here for you. And if this message resonates with you, perhaps not for you or you, someone that you know, please do share. 
And I want to end today's session, today's heal talk with this. It came to me as I was walking this morning. When you see, look beyond. What you hear, listen more intently. And when you are touched, allow the feeling to sink in. So that's becoming more aware because we can go and see a lot of things, but we're not looking. Or, I, I'm sorry, I said it wrong. You can look, but you're not seeing beyond what is. You hear a lot of things. We are bombarded with all these informations that come to us. But tune in and listen to what you must even internally, to your heart, to your gut, to your intuition. And then allow your feelings to sink in and express. It's so much better for you to express what you feel instead of holding on to the hurt. And for that, I thank you for being here on Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. Stay tuned because I'm going to be announcing incredible things that are coming to fruition in the next month. And I look forward to expanding my arena, touching more lives in masses and to be a part of you as well. Until next week, God bless you. Thank you for holding space because you are my complimentary. See you next week. God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.